Hello, how are you? In the last video, we were able to build one content section successfully. And in this video, we are probably going to finalize our app. If the video gets too long, I'll divide it into two. Otherwise, this will be the last video for our first part of the React Sprints series. So just to let you know, this was the final application. It was something similar. Um, all four sections were kind of similar. The only difference between here, the section is at the left, here it's at right, and the animations are different. So now there are only two things remaining. The only thing remaining is to make this section a little bit more customizable so that we don't have to create these sections again and again, create new components for this section again and again, but rather just input some data and some stylings and, and so on. And everything else will be reused. And you see, we can provide as different styles as we want. We can add, it's up to your, it's completely up to your imagination, your creativity, how you want to keep these animations going. This is completely amazing. I already gave you enough information that can help you build all of this on your own. So maybe you can try to pause this video and build the remaining three sections on your own. So just pause the video here. Okay, so I, hope you were able to build it in case you were not able to uh, build it on your own it's, it's completely fine i'll help you do it okay so let's jump back to our vs code so inside our vs code uh, we saw we already had a content section but now in our content section let's do one thing first of all let's try to have the same content section twice what i'm going to do is i'm going to have another instance of content section and that's it now let's see what happens so we have two content sections now but if you see here in the final application we need to do something else we need to have a different background for the different one and uh, here the text is at left here the text is at right and image is at right and it's at left here so let's see how we can change it it's very simple logic you can change it you can there can be n number of ways to do that but i am going to do something very very simple i'm just going to pass some sort of a flag inside this section which will be a, as a props uh, object which will be an indication that is it at left or is it at is, is, is this supposed to be the left position or is this supposed to be the right position and so on perfect so let me jump back to my content section and here what we can do is we can take um, let's say a prop called carousal position so either our carousal position can be at the left or it can be at the right so in the second one in the first one i'm going to put it at right the carousal is at right so let's say carousal position equal to it's a string right you can have it as an enum you can have it as a boolean it's completely up to you why you can have it as a boolean because it's a by value thing it can either be right or it can be left so whenever there's a sort of a by value or a flag or a um, switch you can use boolean but in reality we should ideally use enums for this but for now it's just the string would also do our purpose Perfect. So now this one is to be placed at right. The second one is to be placed at left. Let's jump back to our content section. And inside this, I'm going to provide a few more stylings. First of all, inside our content section container, the very basic thing that I'm going to do is add a new class name depending on this position. So whenever, if you remember some basics of React, whenever we have to provide some uh, some class names based on some flag or some boolean or some uh, some some variable we need to inject it into the string here into the class name string and how can we inject that very easy using string templates you already know this so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to check if carousal position equal to equal to left in that case i'm going to assign it as a assign it a class name called carousal section left and otherwise i can assign it as carousal section right or but instead of having two classes left and right why not let why not leave this this one as a default setting the right one as a default setting and this one as a reverse setting 
basically what i'm saying is the position where the image is, uh, is at left and text is at right sorry image is at right and text is at left we can keep this as a default configuration and this one is going to be the reverse configuration so instead of going something like left or right we can actually go to reverse or something so uh, you can change this name as well to carousel reverse equal to true or false but for now i'll just keep it as left or right it's it doesn't matter it's a <laughs> it's a small thing cool so what i did here is instead of having a ternary operator i just changed it into a double ampersand and you already know what it does i already told you in a few uh, few videos ago basically what's trying to do is it's going to check whether carousel position equal to equal to left if it is true then it will go here and return the string value if it's not true then it will return false from here itself and the and condition will not satisfy and nothing will happen basically that's it cool so now let's assign some styles to our uh, left section or carousel section reverse i'm going to call it as carousel section reverse and actually we can even call it carousel let's let's be more particular about what we are going to call is carousel reverse i'm going to actually use this for this true perfect and instead of this i'm just going to do something like this that's it now it looks much more uh, cleaned up instead of having left and right two values of course if we decided that left and right is not just equal to is not just reverse and we can have different combination then you might go with some enum values but for now boolean is also fine with just is carousel reverse okay so now let me copy and paste this class name and let me paste it inside our content section.css so for reverse it's so simple you would not <laughs> you won't even believe it's so simple we don't have to do anything but we just have to assign flex direction equal to reverse what will happen is since the flex direction is row if you make it row reverse then it will place the second element first and the first element second that's it it's so so simple right so what i'm going to do is display not display flex is already there so flex direction is going to be row reverse that's it see let me show you okay so we already have this isn't it so cool <laughs> we just need to do one line of change in our css style and we have two different sections that's the beauty so you, it's not about how much code you can write it's about how efficiently you can write your code and let's change the background color to f1 f1 and f1 a shade of gray and some z index to some minus value because i uh, need to have this vector on top of that so yeah that's it and now you'd see we already have this now let's copy and paste this whole thing once again so that we can actually have four different sections and now we are almost done with our app almost the only thing remaining is to have different styles in the transitions and since we are already almost around 10 minutes into this video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this as a challenge to you how can you reuse the same carousel component and not build different components and still have different transition this one has a fade in fade out this one has a kind of a zoom in kind of thing this one has a rotate around x axis this one has a rotate around center how are you going to do that this is a challenge for you so this is a cool series isn't it after every video i gave you a challenge and that's how learning is done that's how i teach my students that's it so see you in the next video bye bye